How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Are These Lost Alien Civilizations in Our Past by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I'm sensing a pattern with In A Nutshell videos here lately. It's talking a lot about aliens and like different species and other life forms out there or here. Like we don't, we honestly don't know. And that's what I really like about this topic of the video because it's like, were they already here? Like did they help us out already? Kind of like a lot of people are talking about like the Great Pyramids and stuff like that. Like how were people back then able to make these like really awesome structures and stuff without some sort of help? of alien life form, you know, like, it's really, really cool, like, it's not guaranteed that that's what absolutely happened, like, of course not, that kind of sounds crazy, but it is a possibility, and I really, really like that part of it, so without any further ado, here is, are these lost alien civilizations in our past? When we think about alien Ooh, civilizations, loud. we tend to look into the vastness of space, yes. to faraway planets, but there is another Gonna hit you with a bombshell, vast but... dimension that we might be giving too little thought to, ER. time. Time. Could it be that over the last hundreds of millions of years, other civilizations existed on Earth? Oh. Indigenous technological species that rose and died out, and that they or their artifacts are buried beneath our feet. That's really cool to what think about. What does science have to say like, about that's this? Really and what are the implications stuff. for us? Guess we're gonna find out. And you got a bug on a stick. Congratulations. <laughs> it's gonna tie in somehow. Always does. Life on Earth has existed for 4 billion years, mostly as single celled <laughs> organisms, until some 540 million years ago, the Working Cambrian in explosion heralded the age of animals. A there you huge go. time window for our indigenous aliens. Gee. Where would we look for them, and what could we hope to find? That's a pretty Sadly, good idea, though. We have only one civilization to look at. It's like that ourselves. time frame. It's kind of big. Anatomically modern Something should have happened. around 300,000 years ago and probably lived in small groups of hunter-gatherers, slowly spreading around the world. Progress was yeah, I gotta slow, say, the and soundtrack our lifestyle always, didn't change it's, much, it's just although awesome. there may have been local bursts of complexity. Until about 10,000 years ago, when the agricultural revolution changed Ayo. our lifestyle forever, enabling massive population growth and technological now people don't progress. care about it anymore. Rather than just yeah, animals technology. with culture and tools that would have been invisible from space, we changed the face of the planet, cleared forests, and yeah, we constructed did. cities and temples for our gods at breathtaking speeds <laughs> and bird. scales. Is that a Until bird anymore? about 300 years ago, we became an industrial species, and yet again, our numbers grew exponentially, as did our impact on the planet. Okay, yeah. We could yeah, the say impact, that, that makes a huge difference there. has three phases. We were hunter-gatherers for 97%, <laughs> farmers for 2.9%, huh? and industrialists for 0.1%. See, that's of where our I history. think humanity made a mistake, yet, right there, that 0 0.1. We are new on Earth. On geological timescales, even the sturdiest things lose their durability. That's true. They're not the even talking about aliens yet, and I'm like is already vastly desert, into it. Omega 1.8 million years old. Yeah, Everything cool. older has been crushed to dust or turned over, and it's either below the ground or covered by ice or ocean. Yeah. Our age, the ocean does have a big part of it. Will be a layer only a few centimeters thick in a few million years. If there were aliens before <laughs> There's us, the and they stick. too went through these three phases, what would remain of them? Roger pack. What can we learn about indigenous aliens by looking at ourselves? Oh. Hunter-gatherer aliens. Oh, we're we gonna do different in the types of aliens, years, okay. There were hunter-gatherer aliens. Our ancestors, like Homo erectus, and oh, cousins okay. like the Neanderthals or Denisovans, and probably many more that we haven't found yet, or are lost to time forever. They left fragments oh, of their no. bodies, got of Thanos weapons, snapped. and tools, and even art. Huh. Considering how long they existed, Is that and how an little alien? remains of them, although they lived not that far from our present, so. it's easy to think there have been others. Intelligent yeah. animals like us, <laughs> that could talk and use tools Party. and fire, that had culture and art. For the last two million years, most hominins lived as hunter-gatherers. So if these aliens never moved up higher on the tech tree, hundreds of different species and cultures could have existed without leaving any traces. Oh, Their artifacts okay, I see what you're saying. To biological and then it's kind of lost there for a second, not going. At worst, they would leave absolutely nothing to be found after thousands okay. of years. 
But what about He's not saying that we we talked about how our ancestors were aliens. Oh, I really enjoyed video. that video. But in a nutshell, I enjoy all the videos. Who wants to talk about? Years of Earth's history, we only get a handful of good fossils. So I we count might that as good. miss fossils of such people, but even if we had any, we wouldn't necessarily be able to identify them as hunter-gatherers. Agriculture right, it's like and it's a empire skull. aliens. What kind of skull? I'm Looking human, at humans, I guess. Again, agricultural societies left much more to be dug up and found because they used more sophisticated tools made from sturdier materials and okay, had to feed yeah. millions, leaving many more artifacts. It's like the stuff they used Farming allowed them wouldn't to be there anymore if they were agricultural. From writing to navigation, architecture, and government. Over thousands of years, city-states became kingdoms and empires, some existing for millennia before they fell. Many of the buildings or monuments they constructed are still around. See, this is what I was talking about at the very beginning of the video. For a few thousand more years. It's like all the different buildings and stuff they made back then. The it's ground, crazy to think about. Recognizable to future archaeologists. Yeah, that's so the cool, man. Piles of limestone yeah, that's so a big one. That they will probably be around for hundreds of thousands of years. And because of the greater numbers of humans that lived during our farm and empire oh. period, we can expect way more fossils yeah, and artifacts a lot more bones and tools. maybe for a few million years before they vanish. So we can say with confidence Hello. that no such indigenous alien civilization existed in the last few million years, okay, because otherwise no sign we would have found something that they left. I got you. This still leaves a window of hundreds of millions of years, <laughs> back to the emergence of complex life where we wouldn't be able to tell. If there were alien pre-industrial societies and empires on the level of the ancient Romans or Chinese, they would have likely disappeared without a trace. Oh, that really makes you think, Their though. Tools, even That's what I love about his videos. Would have rotted away. If they dug up canals, cleared forests, and built cities, their yeah, traces like the would be very hard part, to distinguish but... from nature. Maybe there was once an empire oh. of cephalopods occupying impressive cephalopods. cities in swamps and lakes made from say. wood and stone. Their engineers flooding land to build wet cities. This is like, poets oh no, you get good at in a Minecraft. Start making really Maybe cool they stuff. Never industrialized. Maybe their society was too stable or not inventive enough, or they never got a chance. A single event like an asteroid, an epidemic, okay. or an ice age could just, just have out. deleted their civilization. Ground All their hypothesis, by the way. He's not saying, yo, this is away. what happened, obviously. Sadly, we don't have the tiniest amount of evidence for any such oh, civilization. Kind of into a heart, though. After a few million years at best, their achievements would have dissolved into nothing. Oh. Industrial indigenous aliens. You imagine, like, what, what you leave behind. Civilizations it's like just not there anymore. Today. Like, it's just nothingness. Imagine humans it's kind of sad if you think about it. Pandemic or cosmic rays or something like that. Okay. What would remain? The sad part is both those things might happen. Greater than that of our News ancestors. ain't doing too hot right now. The fossil record will show a great extinction of wildlife and an explosion of fossils from human-associated animals like rats, cows, pigs, and chickens. Oh my. Like the structures of our ancestors, skyscrapers and streets and hard drives will basically hard crumble into nothing. Yeah, they had hard drives in, in there. Millennia. But because there were so many humans everywhere for a few million years after our sudden end, there would be clear hints of our existence. Uh -huh. The byproducts of our industrial lifestyle might actually give us away for some hundreds of millions of years. We use massive amounts of artificial fertilizer, which redirects Earth's flow of nitrogen that is being deposited in the soil. Oh, that's something Mining I didn't even think about. And rare earth elements leaves long-term scars and depletes natural resources. So, we saturate you know, we're just with killing, find their way to the killing everything, and full blast. For hundreds of millions of uh, here's where it gets sad again. There are radioactive elements and their decay. Shh, unnatural yeah. accumulations of elements that don't exist outside labs or weapons. And of course, in our short industrial history, we have changed the proportion of CO2 in the yeah. air by burning massive amounts of fossil fuels, increasing oh, the Oh, we cranked that bad boy up to an 11. We may already have Is it too late to stop? in the Who geological knows? record. So far, we have found no traces of an industrial alien civilization. No layers of weird chemicals or displaced elements. No radioactive. You're gonna hit bedrock, man. Stop. Once great nations waged nuclear war. We do see mass extinctions and massive shifts in the fossil records, but no evidence that they did not occur naturally. 
and ironically, we've hit upon an interesting problem here. Let me see. If industrial societies stress the ecosystem enough to cause their own extinction, they won't be around that long. Yes. But if they become sustainable, their imprint on the geological record may be tiny. If past industrial civilizations were sustainable before it. they died out, we may have little to no chance of ever knowing about them. Yeah, if they did In a really case, good job of consuming of stuff, these signatures may become then there would be no trace of it. And get overlooked or interpreted as natural. Even if an industrialized alien society existed God, music 200 bumping again. million years ago and lasted for 100,000 years, 300 times longer than industrial humanity, it still might be easy to miss it in the geological record. God, that's case, crazy stuff to think about, man. Speculation. Time is a in cruel, end, cruel we mistress. We use our imagination to trick ourselves into thinking we know anything about our blind spots. For Just real. Assuming a thing so I said because be, we don't have during this video against it is a trap we should avoid. But it's fun so to talk about. Now, if we look at the vastness of time, it seems as devoid of aliens as the vastness of space. Maybe we are alone in this universe and always were. Maybe we'll find traces of others eventually. We don't know. But there is one important takeaway. What's that? The continuation of our civilization is not guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, if we're not careful, that's very true, we man. May disappear forever. Let's hope that in a few million years, there isn't another civilization studying our layer in the fossil record. Oh, that's trippy to think about, man. It's frustrating to know there are so many things so we cool. can't access. At yeah, least you can avoid like the annoying it. feeling when it comes to other stuff you're interested uh, JoJo? in, like your favorite TV shows what? or movies. You can make this possible by going to nordvpn.com. Oh, okay, I got you. Out. NordVPN service lets you change your virtual location by choosing from over 5,000 different VPN servers in 60 service? countries all care. over the world, and access regionally blocked content or games that may Their not be available in your country. Amazing. Secure your internet traffic with top-tier NordVPN encryption, cool, no matter if you're using a computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's compatible with every major platform and can be used on six devices at once. If, anything, I if just you want listen to, to the music, the music goes hard. As well, NordVPN also offers the secure password manager NordPass and oh. encrypted cloud storage NordLocker. Really? To explore all the games and shows you can get your hands on, go to nordvpn.com. I do like me some Japanese for an stuff. Exclusive deal for our viewers. That I do. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Hey oh. Okay. I got like a hint of like, I don't know, like Tarzan or something. Like, oh, like, I don't know, like Black Panther or something like something tropically. That makes sense, right? All right. So as I kind of guessed, it was a banger of a video. I uh, kind of hope that it would talk about like a lot more like what if scenarios. Uh, but yeah, like he said at the very end of this video, it's like they don't want to like talk about like the the fake stuff like for too long. Like, yeah, it's fun to talk about and stuff, but like. They want facts. They want stuff, like, to make a video about. They don't just want to say, like, kind of like in the last one that I reacted to. It's like, this was a hypo... Hypo... I can't do words. You should see how many times I tried to do this freaking title. But, yeah, like... Long story short, like, they they used a fake thing to move the moon closer to the world. Like, and I didn't really like that too much. So, like, for them to dive into these fake stuff it's like yeah they would like to talk about it but there's just no facts there's no like evidence there's no proof that there was an alien life form on this planet like like he said like if they were like advanced enough well established to where they were self-sustaining then all their waste would would be used like and then there would be no evidence of that and that was a really cool way to think about like that's something i didn't even think about and just his videos are just are not his but the channel as a whole like the video the videos are just so freaking cool because they always answer questions that you never wanted to like you never thought to ask like it's just random questions like are there lost alien civilizations out in our past like are there signs of alien life forms on earth and the answer sadly right now is no so i don't know it's just really really cool stuff i love in a nutshell so much it makes me geek out and i love it so thank you everybody so much for watching uh if you like this video leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell check out the merch i got merch and uh become a member you get videos a day early so that's pretty dope so that's with blah, blah, blah. with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days